I am at the Mercantile at the Ridge in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hi guys, I have never been to this shop. Um, I've seen billboards for it before on I-75 and I think the billboards say it's like the largest antique mall in the area. So I've been meaning to come here for quite a while and just have not had the opportunity. So I thought that since I'm in Chattanooga today, I just got done having lunch with my daughter Emily. Um, I thought I would pop into the mercantile before I head back home to Kentucky and, um, and take you along with me. So let's go see what it's like and um, maybe we'll have some good stuff.
this is huge. Um, it really is large. They've got so much spring decor out right now and um, every booth is like decorated for spring. Um, there's so much to choose from. I've actually had a hard time deciding what I want to take home since I came in specifically looking for spring decor. So um, yeah, it's been a fun shop and I'm getting ready to check out. I will show you what I got when I get home. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I hope you're having a really good week. I have been so busy. So much has happened even since the last video I filmed. Um, I think the, the video that went out last Thursday, um, I filmed like a week before. So, I mean, we've just had so, had so much going on. And um, part of that was going down to Georgia um, and staying with my folks in Atlanta with um, all of my daughters. And we went shopping for my daughter, Hannah, uh, for her wedding gown. And I didn't actually get any video of us at the bridal shop like I did with Emily without the wedding gown that she picked out on. So. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Unfortunately, I didn't, um, I didn't get any video of her without the gown on. So can't share that, but um, we had a great time and she just looked beautiful in her gown. Um, the wedding is in November and um, a lot to do this year because we have a wedding in August for my daughter, Emily, and a wedding in November for my daughter, Hannah. So just um, a lot of joy this year, lots of exciting stuff. So after I went to um, Atlanta and we did the dress, um, I came back and stayed with Hannah in, at her house in Chattanooga for a couple of days. And I stopped at the Mercantile at the Ridge. It's on exit one off of I-75. And um, if you're familiar with the Chattanooga area, it's in the East Ridge um, section of town. So. Um, I have never been to the Mercantile before. I've been meaning to go actually for a few years now, but I have a couple of favorite places in Chattanooga that I tend to just gravitate to. And so I haven't made time to go to the Mercantile. I decided that this week was a good time to do that. So it was actually, I think that on the um, billboards I have seen, it says that it's the largest antique mall in the area. And it was pretty big, so they may be right about that. Because um, I have been to, to quite a number of antique shops in the Chattanooga area, and um, this one was pretty big. So it was the first time I had ever been. There was a lot of really nice shops or vendor vendor booths in the mall, and a lot of them had really good prices. Some of them were a little pricier for my budget, but um, but it was a great overall. It was a really great shopping experience, and I did buy. Actually, most of the things I got were from one particular booth um, because I went in specifically looking for spring decor. So I found a booth that had just kind of a, a fun spring decor display and I ended up grabbing um, several of the things from her booth. So I thought I would share what I got from the Mercantile with you as well as I went um, to Target like the next day, I think. and. Bought a few things for my spring decor as well. So I thought I'd share with you what I got from Target because um, they probably still have it in stock. And then later um, in a week or so, I'll share with you maybe if I'm able to, I'll try to share how I styled everything. Okay, so let's start with the antiques or the vintage home decor that I got. All right, the first thing I picked up was this really pretty ceramic wall hanging and it has fruit. Um, I think it's like maybe an apple, plums, pear, and honestly don't know what this is, but it's very pretty. Um, maybe it's a fig, a green fig before it's ripe. Um, on the back it says made in Italy. And then it has like a, so you can hang it on the wall. I think I'm planning to use this in my butler's pantry most likely. And I believe I'm going to put it on like a plate, um, a plate stand to hold it up. I really liked the pastel colors. I thought it 
looked like spring. They had another one that was vegetables. I kind of feel bad because I only got the one, so I broke up the set and maybe I shouldn't have done that. I kind of regret that now, but at the time I was thinking I didn't really need the vegetables. I, I'm doing fruit in my kitchen, um, not vegetables. So, and I wasn't planning to hang this on the wall. So, you know, if you stop by the mercantile, you will probably see a matching um, ceramic vegetable um, wall hanging there. But anyway, for the life of me, I can't remember how much I paid for this. When I go back and look at the footage, I haven't edited the video yet. So I'll try to, to put, a, put that here. I wanna say it was like maybe $12 or something like that. So anyway, I just really liked it. Um, I thought it was kind of different. It has a vintage vibe that I liked. So that was the first thing I got. And then I got a couple of doilies. I got this one here. And I, this one's so delicate and like just so pretty. I think that this one was $3.50. Just very, very sweet. Yeah, and you know, I collect doilies and use them all over my house. And sometimes I'll, I'll use them in one location and then I'll move them to another location later on. And then I got this linen. I mean, you could call it a doily. It's more like a table runner. Um, it's kind of like an eyelet material. And um, it's not in perfect condition. It has a couple of spots on it where there's like holes. But t I love these little table scarves for different um, different displays. I like to use them. Like I have on this little table, I have a table scarf that's embroidered. I just like the sweet vintage, vintage look of table scarves and doilies and linens like that. Okay, and then next, I got another one of these um, pink and blue striped bowls. And this one's small. I don't know if you remember, I had picked up a large one from the Goodwill a few, um, a few weeks ago and gave it to my daughter Hannah because she's collecting this pattern. Um, I don't know that she has this small size either. And this one was $5. It's not in perfect condition. It does have like, like a small like hairline crack here and some staining in the bottom of it. But, you know, I think that for like using it in decor as like a decor piece. So I may give this one to Hannah or I may use it for a little while and then give it to Hannah. We'll see. Um, I liked the pink for the springtime and, um, and just thought it was sweet. It needs to be cleaned up. I think it'll be really cute. Okay, and then next for $10.50, I got this butter churn and this one is missing the lid. I actually have one that's, I think identical to this, but it does have the lid. But when I saw this one for $10.50, I thought that I might use it by my sink to keep my brushes in, like my dish, dish scrubbers and things in it, or I don't know, it would be good for utensils. It would make a cute little vase. May even use it in my springtime decor because I picked up these spindles and these were $3.50. I got two sets of them and they were tied with like this fabric, which I thought was just cute. Um, she had quite a few that were like, um, even had like trim, ribbon tied around them and I thought they were just so pretty. I bought each of these for $3.50 each. I thought that it could be cute to put them like in this or I may use them in a you know different way, I'm not sure. This also might work on my shelf where I had put my mother's little picture that I had bought. So I don't know, I think this is a piece that I'll be able to use in multiple ways around the house throughout the year. It's just sweet, I like it. So that was everything from the antiques shop. What I picked up at Target for springtime, and I got some of these little like faux tulips. They were a dollar a piece. And they're pretty realistic looking. 
thought they were really sweet. I thought they'd be pretty tied with like some ribbon or I may use them on my tiered tray to kind of fill in um, as like a filler. They might also look pretty like in a vase or just like I said, tied in a bundle and laid down on the counter in a display. Um, I don't know, but I just thought they were very sweet. I love the color pink. It's a color that I, I gravitate to a lot. I thought that these would be just nice kind of filler spring decor that I can use in multiple ways. Um, you know, cause every year I tend to kind of change up how I display my spring decor. So just having kind of a variety of things that I can pull from and use in different ways is always handy. I haven't pulled out my spring decor yet. I'm hoping to do that in the next week or two. We're actually getting ready to take a trip to New York City. We're leaving, to, um, we're leaving on Sunday. So uh, by the time you see this video, I will already be in New York City. But anyway, um, I'm taking Laura to New York City for spring break. Okay, and then finally at Target, I picked up these two floral pieces. Um, I think I'm going to use these in my family room, but I may use them in different places around the house, you know, just as time goes on. I had thought that they would be really cute to put together, and I will probably tie them with like some twine and make like a little bundle. That's what I'm thinking about right now. So I haven't actually done it yet. Um, I could change my mind but I thought these flowers were very sweet. I think that they were, okay, so each, each one of these was $5. I think that they're pretty neutral spring decor that I can use in multiple ways. So that was all for my spring home decor haul. I'm excited to use these around the house. I will definitely um, do my best to make a video about decorating for spring. Um, it's going to have to be after I get home from New York because I have just run out of time. But, um, but I do like to decorate for spring and with Easter coming up and everything, I will definitely be doing that at some point. So I hope that you have a fabulous week. Uh, let me know what you liked best from the antique shop, um, what you would do with it if you had brought it home with you. So yeah, hit like, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Y'all take care. Bye.